All right, howdy everybody. We are somewhere near Mexico. Um, we just got an Uber from Sierra Vista to the Montezuma Trailhead. And I'm already out of breath. We've gone one minute. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a windy, chilly day, but the sun is beautiful. So we're gonna see if we can squeak on down to the monument at the border and then uh, head north. our goal for today. Sure it's pretty out here though. about you but uh it's pretty gorgeous I already have a massive headache um, at the top of this first big climb um, like the first five miles is just like a massive climb and we'll be at about 9100 feet in elevation so I know you can't really get altitude sickness at 10,000 feet but I definitely have a headache Um, if anyone's wondering, yes, it is very cold, um, definitely below freezing, um, and also the first climb out of the border was absolutely miserable. Um, <laughs> very, very tough. Ooh, balls and a dick. Look, a snow wiener. So we just set up camp. It is very cold. Um, I currently have my Sawyer in my bra because it's already starting to freeze. Um, we're just waiting for the other half of our group, but we decided that this is, this is where we'll be camping tonight because it's so cold. Good morning, everybody. It is absolutely freezing. My toes are frozen, my fingers are frozen, my face is frozen. Um, last night was absolutely miserable. I wish I could have said that it was warm, but I was very cold and very uncomfortable. Um, I wasn't always cold, but I just could not sleep. Um, but today is a new day, and look at this. So we are currently in the process of dropping about 3,500 feet down to 5,000 feet. Um, so that's going to be nice because yesterday was all, all, all climbing. I mean, um, it was definitely tough. Um, if I could use two words to describe yesterday, it was brutal, but beautiful. And so now we're just descending down 
hopefully just some warmer temps so I can dry out my sleeping bag because it got wet because Mulberry was so gracious to lend me her emergency blanket just because I didn't have secondary pants. So I just had my hiking pants. Um, I think the overwhelming feeling of yesterday is that we weren't expecting such cold temperatures and we got like blasted with snow. Um, we knew it was a possibility, but you know, we weren't, we weren't expecting it to be that early on. And I don't know, I guess it is February. So it'd be stupid not to think that it was possible. But now we're just going down, 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 down. And I'm gonna stop and eat breakfast here shortly. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day. I can feel it. Trying to dry out my sleeping bag in this sunny spot that's pretty warm with no wind. We only have about nine miles left for the day and it's 10 a.m. so I am just resting in the sun because I'm very tired and dehydrated. It's very beautiful but it's very cold so it's hard to like enjoy it when your body is like struggling. So after last night's blizzard, We'll go like a quarter of a mile and sit in the sun. We've got nothing better to do. Mulberry's eating her uh, frozen pasta and frozen yeah. potatoes and mm. north sides. Slushy style. Delish. And I'm having a slushy propel. Really so nice. my rice side had a, a hole in it and uh, I put a little bandaid on here. You can see the little hole. So uh, I can cook my uh, rice in the bag. Oh, here, girl. Adapt, improvise, overcome. <laughs> so this is our water source yeah. that we did not drink from. We were just talking about shitting ourselves. Those mountains way over there were where we were sleeping last night. Crazy! So we went from almost freezing to death this morning to being well, sunburnt today. Perfect. Hey. <clears throat> There's water here! Real life water. 